Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is all about autumn wardrobe heroes. I have so many great pieces which for me just completely embody the autumn season. Lots of rich colours, cosy knits, all that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. You'll have to excuse my voice if I sound a little bit funny. We all got wiped out by the worst cold. I think we had it for two weeks and for a whole week of that, I was completely mute. So I totally lost my voice. This is only day three of being able to speak again. So if I sound a little bit funny, that is why. Um, but thankfully we're all on the mend now. Okay, so first up, I have all of the cozy knits and it may not look like it with what I'm wearing here, but it is really cold outside. I totally miss the mark with the heating in here and it's way too warm. I turned the lights on, I was like, nope, I've got to change. So I changed from a sweater into this top, but it is quite cold outside and it's just so autumnal and lovely. I will do a vlog soon because it's just so pretty, like all the leaves are turning brown, they're all falling, I just love it. And for me, this is just autumn in a sweater. I think it is so, so gorgeous. I love the pattern and what I particularly love about these, and I have a couple of them because I just love the style so much, you actually have the pattern of follow through as well on the sleeves, which I don't always see. I feel like it's just a nice bit of attention to detail that makes it feel a little bit more special. And I just think it's gorgeous. Um, it's a bit more of a high neck one, which I think is perfect, especially if it is a little bit colder. It is more of an oversized one. I got the extra small and for me, it's the perfect oversized. And I just think it's so great. Comes a whole bunch of colors. I just really like this brown and black pattern one. I think it's so nice and it just gives me all the cozy autumn vibes. And I just think it's fantastic. And it's so, so soft and cuddly. And then I have this completely fantastic sweater. And this very much gives me David Rose vibes. If you're a fan of Schitt's Creek, you'll know what I'm talking about. I just think it's so fun. It's also ridiculously soft as well, like super, super cozy. I like the fact that it is more of a wide one, so you can actually wear this untucked as well as tucked in, and I think it looks good both ways, which is rare for sweaters now, I think, um, but it's just that kind of lovely slouchy fit, but with still slim fitting sleeves, so it's still very flattering and it looks intentional rather than just being generally oversized everywhere. It has a nice black and white striped pattern, and that's all the way through except for like the bottom bit. Again, just little bits of detail, I think it's really nice. You have the black trim right there on the sleeves and it's just super cute. Really, really lovely crew neck as well. Nice and classic, very cozy. And I'm just so excited about all these gorgeous knits. And then I had to share my sunglasses as well. So I actually bought these ones a couple of months ago. I took them away with me. I promptly lost them. And then as soon as I realized I did, I instantly repurchased because I love these so much. Not only are they super cute and flattering and actually fit even if you don't have much of a nose bridge like me, but they're also the cheapest sunglasses ever. They are full price, $15. I think they're actually on sale at the moment for $8 which I just don't even know how they're doing that. And like my expectations, I bought these full price, but my expectations for a pair of sunglasses that were $15 were pretty much zero. And oh my goodness, I would pay so much more for these. They are so cute. They fit really nicely and like, they don't feel like super heavyweight sunglasses, but I don't feel like they do feel overly cheap. And I just think they are so great. Like I absolutely love them, I cannot get enough. And yeah, these are just like my favorite things ever. I'm actually thinking about buying a backup pair because I'm so concerned that something's gonna happen to these. But yeah, would I highly, highly recommend if you also prefer to not spend so much on your sunglasses, maybe you're a bit clumsy like me and maybe you lose them. Like these are just so good and I can't believe what good value they are. Next up, I wanted to share this beauty set and this is definitely not on theme with the whole video, but I was so excited about this and I knew you guys would appreciate it. The Chanel beauty gift sets for the holiday season have arrived and Chanel have outdone themselves this year. Like they are so gorgeous. I'm not gonna lie, I was absolutely swayed by the makeup case. Sometimes you get the makeup cases and they just look a bit cheap and they're nothing too exciting. This year's beauty cases are stunning. Like they are a kind of sparkly tweed with like a little bit of like texture as well. Like, so they're like a little bit fluffy, but nothing too crazy. It sounds kind of weird, but I will do close ups. It is absolutely beautiful in person. And they have this gorgeous little snowflake um, zip right there with the little Chanel emblems all the way throughout. Like it is so stunning. You have the Chanel Beauty logo embossed in the gold and it just opens up like so, a very smooth zip as well. And inside is any number of things. So they actually have, I think, four different versions of this. It took me ages to decide which one to go for. So I went for the uh, lip balm and then the hand cream. I have owned both these before and I know I like them, which is why I went for them. 
Um, so you just have the really lovely little hand cream. And then you have the lip balm as well, which is just so moisturizing and lovely. And I always love their packaging so much. And I just think these are so great. You can also get a lip gloss version. You can get an eyeliner and mascara version. I think there's one other one as well. All slightly different prices, um, but I just thought these were so, so gorgeous. that They usually sell out pretty quickly. So if you were interested, I would probably say to move on them sooner rather than later, but so cute, great for gifting or for just treating yourself like I did. Um, but I am so excited about this case. I just think it is stunning. And then I did get a new pair of Sambas and Oh, these are like my absolute new loves at the moment. If you've not tried Sambas, I do feel like they're a love or hate thing. Obviously they're quite a trendy item, but they are ridiculously comfortable and they are comfy right from the get go. This combination though, it took me a while to warm up to the original white and black ones. This one just had me as soon as I saw them. I think they are so nice. It's a really lovely kind of warm beige slash taupe color um, with like a hint of like gold accents. So they're super pretty, very neutral, and they are much easier to team and match the outfits, I think, than the black and white ones. And I just think these are fantastic. I love them so much. They genuinely feel like slippers, super, super comfortable. And yeah, these are just my new favorite thing. I feel like I'm gonna be living in these all autumn long. And I just absolutely adore this color combination. I think it is so pretty. And then I did pull the trigger on a pair of boots I've been eyeing up for weeks and weeks and weeks. And I was trying to find a better price for them than what I paid because you can, these are from Veronica Beard and you can get them from the website, but they don't ship to the UK and you can get them on Revolve as well, which is where I ended up buying them from, but they were more expensive. Um, so I was waiting for a good price, couldn't find a better price. So in the end, I just said, you know, I'm just gonna go for it. And I just think they are gorgeous. Like they are so nice. They are a pointy toe boot. They have a heel, but it's nothing too crazy. So it is a high heel, but it's very manageable. These are super comfortable and they are just pull on. So there's no zip involved, which I love because I'm so lazy when it comes to things like that. I love the fact that you can literally just pull these on. They're ridiculously comfortable. I feel like they go with everything. I know chocolate brown is such a big trend this year as well. And these are just the perfect, perfect boot to me. Like, I just think they're so beautiful. So I'm so happy about them. I do wish I was able to get them for a better price than what I did, but that's okay. I think they're worth it. And I'm just so in love with these gorgeous boots. Next up, I present to you the most perfect sweater dress. And I am so fussy about my sweater dresses because I just feel like so many of them get it wrong. Like I don't like V-necks with sweater dresses. I don't know why. I feel like it works so much better with a crew neck. I don't want them to be too short. I think they look a bit weird if they're too long. I want it to be just kind of right in terms of the width. Like it's very much a Goldilocks situation when it comes to sweater dresses. I find it weirdly difficult to find good ones. This one is just perfect. It's very well priced. I love this so much that I got it in the burgundy as well. And it's just wonderful. Like it's very cozy, very warm, very, very soft as well. Has a nice amount of thickness too. So these aren't only gonna be good for when it's just turning cold, but it's still quite warm. Like I feel like this is gonna provide enough warmth and coverage, even when it does get a little bit chillier. You can obviously wear these with tights too. And I just think this is perfect. So absolutely love this. 10 out of 10 at sweater dress. Just super excited about it. It's even better that it's such a good price. And then I do have this chunky crew neck, which is just so perfect. This is actually the same fabric and weight as the sweater dress. And it's just so nice. It has the perfect fit. So it is a little bit oversized, but nothing too crazy. I did size down in this one um, because otherwise I just thought it was gonna be too big. So with sizing down, I think it's the perfect amount of oversize for me. And I just love this, so unbelievably soft. This comes in a gazillion colors as well. I am loving the burgundy. I think it's just such a beautiful shade. And this is just so perfect. It also doesn't crease badly either. I hate it when you fold away knitwear, which is really how you should store knitwear. And it comes out all crease. you have to steam it. It's just like, faff, I don't want in my life. This really doesn't crease and I just think it's fantastic and such a good price as well. This is a very knitwear heavy haul, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but I also saw this and they had like a whole line of Fair Isle sweaters. And like, I like Fair Isle, but I don't feel like I've ever liked it as much as I have this year. But there's just so many lovely iterations which don't feel overly frumpy or too much. Like they just have that kind of subtle pattern, 
which just looks like festive enough without being ridiculous. And I just think they're gorgeous. This one also got me because it had all the beautiful pearl details. I love a pearl accent detail. I think it's so pretty. You have these little sparkly bits as well. This one is a cardigan. Again, very soft. I'd say this one is more of like a medium weight, so it's not overly heavy. And I just think it's gorgeous. I love snowy white sweaters anyway. I just think they're so lovely. Really nice as well, because I feel like so often we can veer towards darker colors as soon as it gets colder. So it's nice that this is so light. And yeah, just another absolute favorite. I think it is so lovely. And then I did have to share my new bag, which I'm so excited about. So I did a little poll over on Instagram asking you guys which one you thought I should get between this one and the Bottega Bang Bang. It was pretty much even all the way throughout. And then I think the Bottega edged it by like 2% or something. But I was already at that point kind of leading towards the Saint Laurent. So I decided to go for this one and I'm just over the moon with that. I think it's so cute. Before I get into the bag though, St. Laurent have changed their packaging. And to be fair, it's been a while since I bought a St. Laurent bag, I guess, especially direct from them. They used to do all black packaging and now they switched to white. I think it's very nice, it looks very fancy. Um, even their dust bag is now white. So this is like the first time I feel like they've changed it in forever. Uh, so little side note there. So this is the little Vandy bag. And to be honest, I've not historically been the biggest fan of Vandy bags. Like I think they're objectively cute, but when it comes to like the ones from Chanel, they're priced so expensively. And I just think for that amount of money, you just want something a little bit more functional. Um, so I really wasn't looking at this until suddenly I just saw them everywhere. I thought the Bottega one's beautiful too. I know like there are so many other brands that do these. This one kind of won me over. I just think it's super, super cute. I was mostly worried about how functional it would be. The zip is very nice and smooth though, which I do think makes a really big difference. And then just opens up like so. It's a big wide open space. You have one little slot there at the back and that's it. But I just thought this was so gorgeous. He's come in a whole bunch of colors as well. So I know there's a black one, a white one. I feel like there's another color as well. I wanted the burgundy just because I feel like I don't have a burgundy bag in my wardrobe. I kind of dabbled with the red bags for which I, to be honest, I'm not that great at pairing, but I feel like this is like dark enough that it actually counts as a neutral. And yeah, I just think this is so, so super cute. I love the fact that it comes with an adjustable strap as well. And yeah, I'm very, very happy with it. So if you have any questions, if you want to see another video on this, I'll be happy to do it. Let me know in the comment section. But yeah, I am very, very happy with this purchase. And then fully going in on the chocolate brown shade, I saw this little cardigan and I just think it is so, so nice. I love the little gold button details. I always love a good cardigan anyway. I think they're surprisingly easy to wear. You know, you can wear them open if you want to. You can wear them buttoned up with jeans, with trousers, with skirts, with dresses, like so many different styling options. And this one is just so nice. It's a really lovely brown shade. I think it particularly goes well with the gold buttons as well. And I just think it's super cute. Not too oversized either, so it is a really nice fit. And yeah, just all about the chocolate brown shades at the moment. I think this is just such a lovely way to wear it. And then I have a trouser purchase and these are just like the biggest bargain. I have been so happy with them that I actually got them in a couple of extra colors as soon as I got my first pair because I was so impressed by them. They have glowing reviews, they're from H&M. And to be honest, I'm not usually much of a H&M shopper just because I feel like I always see things online, think they look great and then I receive them. I'm just a bit disappointed by the quality. Like it just doesn't ever live up to the expectations. These are not like that. They are just as good. I mean, they're not, I guess, the thickest fabric ever, but they fit so nicely. They look and feel so much more expensive than they actually were, come in a bunch of different colors and just kind of the perfect style that look very smart, but are still just so easy to throw on. And yeah, I have been so impressed with these. So. If you have also spotted these and were dubious because of the price point, like I get it, but I have been very, very impressed. Again, like I don't feel like you're getting a Max Mara quality trouser. Obviously you're not paying that kind of money, but for the price that you're paying, I actually think that they're pretty good and I love the fit of them so much. And then I have this absolutely gorgeous dress. How beautiful is this? We have a lot of very exciting events and things coming up. Wanted a couple of new dresses. I feel like my wardrobe is just full of summer dresses, none of which look right right now. Um, and then I saw this and I just thought it was gorgeous. A very lovely autumnal print. Very, very flattering, very easy to wear. It has a really nice full skirt, which I always just love so much. But particularly when it comes to the colder months, they're just so fun. Black base and then it has kind of like a medium muted rose beige print. Really lovely, it's like this rose decoration all the way through. Adjustable tie straps too with an elasticated back. 
And I just absolutely love this. Definitely more of a splurge. And I did say to myself, I was like, only keep it if you love it. And I absolutely love it. Just really, really gorgeous. And yeah, I am so, so excited to wear this. So that wraps up this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. As usual, I'll link everything in the description section. Any questions, leave me a comment. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.